Thank you for staying with us. So our hot topic today is the worsening power supply and the heat wave that many Nigerians are going through right now. The weather is so hot, and to make it even worse, there's no electricity. Uh, we read in the papers today that we're having issues with our power grid. Uh, even those who live in communities or in the estates that have the premium supply are also lamenting, saying that this season they don't have electricity. The what is going on? What is your experience? We'd like you to call in and share with us your own experience so far. You can call us on 081-270-53687, which you can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag your view TVC so we can read your tweets. It's been hot. It has been hot. When I say hot, I mean mm -hmm. hot. Like my son came to me yesterday. You think it was only important. I said, Mommy, Daddy, please, can we get a solar panel? My husband said, what do you know that it's solar panel? <laughs> we just need electricity in this house. It doesn't, we're hot. He was removing his clothes. In our kitchen with the younger brother, he removed that one's clothes. We're hot. We're sweating. And I'm thinking, hey, hey, my darling. Like, well, it's the season we're in right now. It's just, it's just for a little time. Very, you know, having to explain to a child that if you don't have electricity, it's really, really horrible. Mm. You know, yeah. well, what I what, what no, you said that I love because there's some people in some Nigerian villages that will say, explain to your child that there's no electricity. They've never seen, mm -hmm. you know, you go out. Well, they used to it. It's uh, their yes, reality. I understand. You go out, the fresh air blows you, and then when it's dark, you go. Yeah, it's not blowing in, in this season. Mm. The air that's is not where, blowing. That's where we're headed. So in my house, the gen goes off at 11. Because diesel is also expensive. Right. You have to manage that or else we will not be able to use money. We will not be able to pay people fees if we use all the money to run oh, diesel. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, the heat is just, you know, crazy. My <laughs> children stay in one room that has, like, really large windows. So we open the windows by that 12. I have to wake, you know, I have to stay awake at the time to open the windows so that they can even get some fresh air. For me, when my husband is, uh, when he's around, there's this window that comes with really nice fresh air. We take turns. Yes. Like, oh, we'll we'll stay on that side, side of the bed. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. See, Nigeria will just oh, make okay. you. Yeah, so it's really bad. But my problem is heat, the heat, um, the hot season will come and go. My electricity is not working. I don't get it. You say we should pay premium. Mm. We are paying premium. You say we should do this. We've done everything, but... I don't, I'm not getting electricity. And then I'm reading stories about someone blaming the other person, blaming everyone. The grid is collapsed. Um, the generating plants are not, they are idle. We've known that they've been idle all this time. What has happened? Why are they idle? What has been done, you know, to work mm. on them? You know? Is it that there's no money at all? The money that they have collected from co um, customers and consumers of electricity, in what way are they putting it back to is maintain it, it, the different and work angles on this to this generating plant. Because they'll tell you, I mean, I was, I was talking to somebody high up at, at, at power yesterday, and, and I was saying that we need to get a transformer, obviously, for where we're going. She said, listen, they're not, they're not, what, what they're earning is not obviously reflective of, it's not cost reflective. So they can't even afford to, to have trans. No, they're supposed to be the ones to provide transformers. So they, we can't afford to even invest in transformers because Nigerians are not paying. Many are bypassing. Many are not paying. So only a few people are paying, but most Nigerians are not paying. Many of them are bypassing their wires, and it's difficult for us to recoup the return on their investment. So they can't even begin to invest. These are just part of the realities because Nigerians, the truth is that many of us just don't pay. But that's not unsolvable. So I think it's just uh, unfair to say because Nigerians are bypassing you not. I know. The disco me among that they have their checks. They come in into your com your compound, just come in, they have the way they put on their meters and they can check that there's somebody bypassing in that community. So if they are not enforcing on their part, it's not you cannot just black us all the force out. And I know that it is deliberate on their part to not want to invest in transformers. From my experience, two times buying our transformers in our community, we know they don't want to buy it. Is that fair? Is that a fair statement? Yes, because, because they always say there's a cost issue. Yes. And so every community, we bought our contract somewhere twice now. Most people And do. then have to hand it over. Yeah. It's not, it just, I don't ever see a plan on, okay, in a, if you give us a six months period, we'll do this for you. They don't have that plan. Most of the discos. My disco is, I would say, the best uh, service provider when it comes to electricity, but yet even them have this issue. Now, my own worry, my own only one worry that I have, Ramadan is in 12 days. Hmm. I'm already shopping. And I'm looking at the things I've invested in, in that the they are freezer. going to spoil. 
And it's not, it's not funny at all that, you know, they, these policymakers plan, they don't plan along with citizens. If you decide to buy in that Ramadan, you buy too expensive. If you say you should buy now, you're no paying response. expensive. So we have to be fueling. Or put on gen on. It's you just know, not practical you know, like that. You know, in my house, you know, I, I feel bad for my, my health because there's only one I cannot, because all of us, like my, me, Bob Brown, my mother in law, my grandma, all of us, we're all like half, we're not dressed. Yes. Because we're all dressed. going around because of our house. Mm -hmm. But they, they're just there, they have to dress up, and they're like blowing them, so they cannot, <laughs> like, you know, so it's, I was, I'm just feeling bad because all of us had to just remove our clothes. Mm -hmm. It was so hot. So um, hmm. I feel that. Of course, we have a major in, um, crisis on our hands as a country. Um, and the blame, the transmission are saying that they cannot transmit what is not generated. So the, the Jenkos said there was a Jenkos, shutdown. Yes. There was a shutdown. So they cannot supply. And the discos will tell you it is what we have that, that we, we are giving. Mm -hmm. So, and we don't have enough. So we're doing load shedding. This is even for areas where they even used to have light. Um, and I look at it and I wonder if our politicians can address the issue, mm -hmm. you know, because at the end of the day, it's not even about, you might, you might even if you're addressing this, to say, we're well, sorry, there's a major problem, we're looking into it. It make me feel like you, really you understand. Papers. But mm. it, 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 it's not. They are not that way. That they, one. They, they, they say, we we'll get that we a lot. Yeah, so, a lot. So for, because for me, I am it's in that space where I'm looking at it that many of our, the real people, they are House of Assembly members, um, they, they don't experience it. They can afford the diesel no matter how expensive it is. Mm -hmm. So it is a case of we are, is pinching. The healthcare sector, they are having to buy diesel. Ah. Patients are buying well, diesel for the hospital bad. to That's be able to, to do operations. So businesses, down. yeah, businesses are shutting down. They cannot afford to That's, run yeah. anymore. They are saying like we cannot produce anymore. Yeah. So are we looking at the entire impact of our well, power it. shortage? Mm. Because very soon, what will we do? Kerosene is expensive, mm -hmm. diesel is expensive, mm -hmm. petrol is not as available as it could be. Within Lagos, we're enjoying 165. Outside Lagos, it is over 200 naira. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we're talking about a major energy crisis across Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And we need our government to realize that they must do something to step up on these issues. Because we are not on the streets yet. I'm looking at Italy. I'm saying, what did Italy, what, what are people experiencing? Spain. Spain. Mm. What did Spain experience that they are on the streets? They should come, they should come to Nigeria for oh, two days and mm. they will see why that everybody in Nigeria should be on the streets. And yeah. I think yeah. it might get to that point. Let me go on a break. Okay. When we come back, we continue this conversation. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So this is our Monday morning lamentation. It's about electricity. <laughs> and we have a caller. Ifai, good morning. Are you there from Enugu? You have lights. Oh, we lost oh, him. So I do apologize. So let me just give you the official statement because when Toko said they don't apologize, they have apologized several times. And is this, they're having no, issues with the politicians, not the power people. Why so the, 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 so, well, Daddy. The, well, okay. they said there was an initial collapse on Monday, if you remember, 10 a.m., yeah. there was that collapse that happened. And then the next day, we lost about 600 megawatts from Africa's largest power plant, Eggby, in Lagos. Mm. Um, and um, they were actually, even your echo discos had sent out messages oh, telling people, explaining. The um, they explained that um, the combination of all the issues of all the down, the grids that went down is what's causing this current. And they're having to load shed to ensure that everybody gets their power at least at some point. Um, so yeah. what happened? Why, did, why is the load, why, why is the power grid going down? Okay, this, they, is, what the part they have this not, is what I don't the Association understand. of Power Generation Company said. They blamed... Embet, the Nigerian Bulk Electricity Trading Company, which is the trading uh, house between all of them, mm -hmm. as you know, not paying. They said they need to pay for all utilized capacity charge to Jenkos. Okay. Now, the Embet or gas says, ah, wait, oh, that only Jenkos that have active gas supply mm -hmm. agreements were paid for unused capacity, not that they have not been paying. But you have some Jenkos that their gas supply is not active. So, how do you then explain? That you generated the power that you're asking them to pay that you didn't that wasn't utilized. So because, now you're talking to the real uh, problem. Mm. So they are and saying that okay. only those that they show that clearly has an active gas supply are the ones who are actually old, and so they they and, have been paying them. Yeah, and also we heard from the general manager for TC and that's the transmission company of Nigeria saying that there are 14 generating plants that have been just idle or generating at very low capacity, and she talked about all the other ones that would normally generate. Um, 
electricity for us also struggling. So obviously there's just yeah. a breakdown. Yeah. But for me, it's a, it, it took a while to get here. And like everything in Nigeria, until it completely breaks down, everybody's lamenting and screaming. Before this electric electricity issue. problem is something that we have constantly complained mm. about. Even when it was good, it wasn't so good. Right. And now it is completely, you know, um, run down. So the thing we have to do now is, is like starting from the scratch, right? Yeah. What do we need to do? Who are the people that need to be paid? We have also heard that we be, um, electricity has been so subsidized that you know they yeah, can't no. afford. Those who could have invested in the business are not want to, don't, do not want to invest in the business, do not want to be part of it, and they are asking that we pay the proper charges for the electricity mm. that we consume. So I believe that that's the okay. first place we should right. go to where we pay for it, and then maybe that money would now be channeled to the proper maintenance of this um, generating plant. Let me take this call, Emmanuel. Emmanuel's in holding. Good morning. Are you there? Mabuja. Hello, Emmanuel. Hello, Emmanuel. Are you there? Is there lights? <laughs> okay, I yeah, can't. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Go ahead. You're live. Yes, yeah, sir. Good morning. You're live. Go ahead, please. I can hear you. I can hear you. I say good morning. Go ahead. Morning, You're talking to the TV, not me. Go ahead. Okay, good morning, Mariah. Good morning to everyone in the studio. Good morning. <laughs> uh, so, um, I've, I've not listened to the studio. I've not listened to the program for some time. And I'm happy you're talking about the electricity issue. Can you hear me? Yes. Very clearly. Yeah, so the issue is there. For the first time in my life, my wife woke, woke me up this morning. She was bailing water out of our deep freezer. Mm. I've, never, I've never seen anything like that. It, and uh, in Abuja here, this has been going on for like a month, more than a month, in fact. Yes. Both so well, no light, mm. no diesel, just name it. Mm. And just like you pointed out, uh, a lot of businesses have been destroyed. Just uh, two weeks ago, I had a document I wanted to photocopy. So I went to the place I usually photocopy, and the place was locked, so I didn't understand what was going on. I went to another place, and they told me they are not working. I still didn't figure it out. When I got to the third place, the only question they asked me is, how many copies do you want to make? And I said, four. And they politely told me they cannot put on their gel to make four copies. And I, in fact, I felt, I felt, I felt what was going on. That business was just being destroyed. As I was about leaving, the manager now called me and said, "Okay, let me just let's just do it for you, you know." And I, and I asked myself, "How, how did we get here?" You see, the excuses they are giving are things they've been giving from beginning. No gas. Yes, we are the highest, one of the highest producers of gas in the world. In fact. We are told that we have more gas than petroleum than petroleum in this country. Then they say, oh, people are... In fact, there's nothing, there's no excuse anybody can give for this. Please, this government should take responsibility. Because the, 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 the body language I'm getting, it's like they are just tired of government. Up. They don't know what to do. They are just counting days. Let them Thank you very much, somebody Emmanuel. Else. But please, they should realize that they are... Thank you very much, Emmanuel. I mean, it's really good to actually hear from one of the... Uh somebody, an official, from either the Jenkos, the TCN, because we really need to know what the crux of the problem is. We have gas, yes, but the generator, the, the Jenkos are saying they're having issues. They, this breakdown, is it a maintenance problem? Is it that the fact that there's... Or what not, we don't have enough gas to power the turbines or what? No, So, so what is, is that is the multiple okay. excuses that I'm hearing, and I'm wondering that if we have already, um, what do they call it, if we have... Um, um, deregulated this sector, like we have already taken government out of it. I wish they did it the way they did power, I mean, they did um, um, telcos, because we were saying at that time they were doing this thing that, do it like telcos, let me have opportunity to choose between different vendors. If one, one line does not serve me, I will not buy data on that line. I buy data on the one that is serving me. If that one stops, I cancel, I don't use it, I buy on another one, but we are stuck with using the same, if you don't, whether you give me power or you don't give power, I'm stuck with you. There's no competition. If we can create a platform where I can say, okay, I'm not using a Kaya Disco today, I want to use a Code Disco. No, we, ha we have that. We, should, we don't that have that option. It's the where that it's been, it's been partly um, deregulated, where that you can choose. Partly. But, it's, so, that, it's not partly. If, if, we want to, if we want to do it well, there should be that competition because I'm sure the, tel the telcos know that people will swap to another line when they don't do well. So we, if, until we get to that level, because it's a business, mm. as, even the, so, they are complaining that they are subsidized, but it's still a business. They are still, make, they are still making money. They are still collecting money from us. So who, who, who would I hold responsible if we, they don't deliver I the service they, they, I think, they, are, see, they ought to There are deliver. different layers. There's a disco layer. That disco layer is a completely different, different conversation because we, the people, also are very guilty in that area. 
It's not everybody that's been, I know. No, 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 we talk about the entire, for example, a whole community of people that are bypassing. There are different layers. There's a Janko layer, there's a TCL layer, and there's a Disco layer. The no, Disco the layer Jenko is a totally different. The so the, the, the issue we have with right now is the Janko. So the Disco issue is a different, different conversation no. that we'll talk. This and you can't assume because you live in one small community and they have light here, that's the problem. No, no there's more Nigerians that are right. refusing to pay. We have that's enough the truth. experience in this business to know how this thing works. If um, somebody can be removed from the power grid, a community, because they think that that community is not generating enough power and then they went to beat up uh, a disco official, I know that they can deal with this issue of power uh, uh, thefts. They can. They have their meters checked. Yes. They have their meters from street to street where they are put it to read oh. how much they are supplying. Otuba talks about it all the time when he comes here. If they bring in, let's say, a 200 megawatt per something, whatever, some, into a community and they are expected to generate 2 million on it, if they generate 1.6 million, they know they something know has diverted. Yes. They know what to do to that community. You will see your power. We have these meetings with them all the time. So they you know. can say this community so is stealing power and they will check among themselves. You can themselves. deal with the community in question. Uh -huh. You cannot have the community that is paying you and, and you then leave them. They know what to do. So it's different. That's why I said it's a different, it's a different in conversation a disco, because what we are talking about right now is from the Morayo, generals. If, in a, if there's a power fault somewhere, it's, you, you, in the olden days, they will just cut off all the old area. Mm. You will see yeah, the whole of our mother is out of grid right now. Mm. But now we have a new thing. You will get an SMS. They will cut off power. They will see the officials coming around. They yeah. still came around two weeks ago. They will spot the area that is the power the issue. And they will only cut off those people under that transformer. See, they fix it. No, they'll so do that. And then the no people will go and hang madness. the ones that are cutting. You know I mean? I no, mean, no, no. It's like, not possible yeah. again. Oh. Shebi, we did not have like... You know how many of the officials are being beaten up every single day? We know. Nigerians, they are made of them. They have put in some communities. So, so it's happening. Even till today, I cannot melt my freezer. Like, and I know they can isolate the problem. You, you cannot use the problem of power thefts. It can be isolated. You can deal with the issue and say. give the people who are paying, who are not. But you can't, you just can't keep talking from our own myopic part of you. There's so many other layers of this conversation. Let me talk about Hassan. Hassan, are you there? Hello, Hassan, are you there? You're live. Um... I'm supposed to talk this morning because <laughs> when I am starting with something that the wife of a pair of piano apologized that she meant well. That's why it's a blasted lie. She went to insult that woman and we heard what she said by putting her a chow. That's number one. That one. Number two, you see this issue about power you are seeing. These people are insulting the intelligence of Nigeria. For the first thing, they will say the problem is generation. Then they will not come over again and tell us that it's the problem of distribution. Then they will not come again and tell us that it's a problem of transmission. The MD of TSN came on board to tell us that they don't have enough infrastructure to receive the light generated by generating companies. And the discos are behaving like recharge card buyers, whereby they buy a little bit, you understand, and take money from Nigerian people. You see that by passing you are talking about. Nigerians are paying their staffs that money. That money you are thinking that they are by passing. Their staffs are going to those homes collecting money for breaking the law, for stealing government power. So, please, we have problem of paucity of leadership in Nigeria. All over the place. From the leadership, to the followers, to the people in the bureaucracy, both the CSS, the Jemco, the Disco, and whatsoever. They are the problem of Nigeria. Good morning. We have to... Uh, let's go on a break. I don't even know what else to say concerning this matter, but we have to wrap up on this. When we come back, move on to other topics. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back.